All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, in today's video, we have a woman who is a Christian, okay, and she defended our Lord Jesus Christ to a Muslim preacher. Now, I did watch this video, and bro, I ain't gonna lie. This woman, she she could have standed on business if this Muslim preacher was not, you know what I'm saying, was in too arrogant. You feel me? Like he was just he just didn't let her answer none of the questions that he had. It's just like he didn't want to hear truth. And you know what I'm saying? But I'll let y'all watch the video. I'll give all my thoughts at the end of the video. Also, this is from Richard Lorenzo. So shout out to Richard Lorenzo, man. He done made some good points. So I had to react to his version of the video also. So y'all can get some knowledge and wisdom from my guy. Without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. Let's get it. Let's go. It says Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. Do you believe in so that? So Jesus was no. a messenger he's of God. Big, he's bigger than messenger. He's not just a messenger. It's an sister, insult to call sister, my Lord sister, a messenger. Sister, sister, Come on. I ask We you will what... do something to prove something, sir. But first, I want uh, to put uh, it is uh, wrong. You agree it is wrong, then we go to the next question. I don't agree. That means what you said is it's not word of Jesus. That means you're fooling the people, right or wrong? Did you, you, you thought I did not know, correct? No. It is the question of Bible. You believe Bible is the word of God, correct? Yes, I do. I don't believe it is the word of God. Even though you believe the Bible is the word of God, I know Bible more than you, right? There is one thing to know the Bible. There is another thing to have the revelation of the Bible. Mm. Because you know, even when <laughs> Jesus came, the people Man. who did not understand who he was were religious leaders. They yes. missed big time. Sister, they did not know who he was because Sister, he was hidden. Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, said, I am God, or if I say worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. Simple challenge. He's wilding. The Bible constantly, like, I mean, from the Old to the New Testament, mentions and proves the deity of Jesus Christ, the the um, the omnipotence, the, the all-powerful um, Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach, the Almighty, since the Old to the New Testament. What the woman said, what this woman of God, my sister in Christ said, was that these religious people, um, especially the Pharisees in the New Testament, we see that these religious leaders, they knew the letter, they knew the Torah, but they had no revelation of Jesus because he was hidden because they didn't know who he was. They had no love, they had no, no mercy, no forgiveness they were representing Yahweh falsely they didn't know God but they knew the letter and it's the same thing with a lot of Muslims they know the letter of the Quran they might have read the Bible but because they don't know who God is they don't have love they don't know him they don't have that revelation of Jesus that's why Jesus spoke in parables that's why Jesus spoke in a way that was too spiritual for the Pharisees and that's how a lot of Muslims are they're very oh it's not in the Bible the Bible doesn't say it but you know what's crazy is that the Quran was taken from the Bible and the Quran was was established and created 900 Hundred years after the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And what's so beautiful about that is that they've already found fragments of the Old and New Testament with the Dead Sea Scrolls. They've already found it. And it dates back hundreds of years before the Quran was even created. So it proves that the Bible was written first. The Torah was obviously written first. And then the New Testament was written. And they found fragments about 30 years after the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is very recent compared to 900 years. Think about 900 years. You know, it said that 30 years is a generation, right? Think about how many generations that is that's 30 generations that's a long time and for muhammad to go to a cave and be like oh i got a revelation from the angel gabriel that i'm the final messenger man he didn't even see gabriel first and foremost secondly he was up there for a long period of time for like months trying to hear from god trying to hear from from god waiting for an answer i mean when he finally supposedly heard that he was the final messenger from an angel of light which was obviously was not the angel gabriel was, was definitely a satanic angel if not satan himself he was still confused he had to even go to his wife who was double his age and that he was married to obviously for financial reasons because she was filthy rich and ask her you know what's going on like this is what i think i experienced and she was the one that confirmed to him like yes you are the final prophet man the man was confused he prophesied things that did not come to pass i mean all throughout the quran if you speak to muslim scholars they'll tell you it's true the man the man muhammad was was not the best the best guy to follow i mean he married a nine-year-old pedophilia pedophilia like i mean modern day like imagine think about this modern day some of you have nine-year-old daughters imagine a man not only married but 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 having sexual relations with your nine-year-old daughter man that's that's rape bro and then some people will say well that's how it was back then no no that's 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 not how it was he was a pervert don't follow perverts follow jesus who is the truth i mean he's the way he's the life he was the he's the fullness of god bodily he was when he was here he was perfect never sinned sinless man and again i always say this it's crazy because muslims believe that jesus was born of a virgin you ask a muslim was jesus christ according to the quran and they'll always say peace be upon 
upon them. That stuff is weird. It's so religious. It's just vanity. They don't mean it. They just say it to say it because they have to say it. Ugh. It's like if I went to my wife all the time and said, hi, babe, I love you so much. And da, da, da. Hey, babe, I love you so much. And da, da, da. Imagine that if I did that to my wife. How about imagine if I did this to my wife? If I, if I, her, my, my wife's name is Carlene. Hey, Carlene, how you doing today? I love you so much. I married you three years ago or four years ago, and you're the best ever. She'd be like, bro, stop saying that. I know it. Like, stop. That's weird. It's religious. It's not a relationship. That's bro, I don't normally pause the video, but Richard be on, bro, he be on point, okay? This man be dropping gems. And a lot of people don't want to hear this truth, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't understand that this, this realm that we're living in right now, this is all fake. This is all fake. Seriously, a lot of people believe that this realm right here is more realer than the spiritual realm. And that is false. The moment you get out of your religious mindset, the moment you honestly just seek the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, you your eyes, them, them blinders that the devil has did this, like you can't see nothing because the devil is blocking you from seeing the truth. All that is going to be released. So the moment you come to Christ, it's the moment you start to see things. You're like, whoa, hold on. I'm starting to see things i never seen before. I'm starting to understand Things that I never understood before. Like your eye gates is going to be open to a lot of stuff, bro. A lot of stuff. I mean, like Richard Lorenzo, uh, he's a prophet. And he's a, he's a legitimate prophet. Everybody has a different gift. When Everybody has a different gift regardless. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if you're a Christian or not, you have a gift. It's just that you haven't pursued or you haven't walked into that gift because you're not walking in with you're not walking with christ so of course you haven't walked fully into that gift but a lot of people everybody has a spiritual gift everybody okay everybody has a spiritual gift the moment you give your life to jesus christ is the moment you start to realize your spiritual gift and his spiritual gift is prophecy so at times when he's talking to someone he'll talk to a random person this is richard lorenzo he'll talk to a random person and he will literally tell them everything that they've been through be uh, no literally i kid you not this man went on live and did it to let us know that this, he's not making it up he went on live went to a random stranger and you know what i'm saying whatever the spirit led him to obviously he didn't just go to no random stranger like hey look you 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 got raped this like no obviously the spirit had to lead him to a person in order to be able to get some type of vision of what this man or this woman been through so they can eventually be like man okay you know this story I don't know how you know this story, but I want to serve the God that you're serving. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's just Richard Lorenzo. The man is literally full of knowledge, full of knowledge. But anyways, I don't normally like to pause the videos no more. So let's finish the video. That's what happens with most of them. They believe Jesus was born of a virgin. That's supernatural. It doesn't make any sense to even think that he's just a regular prophet like Muhammad. No, he's greater than any of the prophets. And Muhammad was a false prophet. He was born of a virgin and he was sinless. You ask a Muslim, was Jesus sinless? They'll say yes. You ask a Muslim, did he create life? He did. According to the Quran, and this is not in the Bible, this is the Quran. He created life from, from, from the sand. He created a bird. He created life. And if, and if you ask a Muslim, who's the only one who can create life? They're going to tell you God. But even in the Quran, Jesus created life. And Jesus, according to the Quran, ascended to heaven in his body, bodily. He's in heaven right now, never died. Ask a Muslim, they'll tell you, yes, Jesus never died. Yes, he's in heaven. And yes, he's coming back to fight the Antichrist and judge. Ask a Muslim, who's the only one who can judge you? They'll tell you God. And then you ask him, then why is Jesus coming back to judge? Why is Jesus coming back to fight the Antichrist? Why isn't it Muhammad? Why isn't it Moses? Why isn't it um Aaron? Why isn't it Isaiah? Why isn't it any of the Old Testament, you know, prophets? Why is it, why isn't it? Elijah, why isn't it Enoch? Why, according to the Quran, is Jesus coming back to fight the Antichrist and judging? It's because even in the Quran, Jesus is can be proven to be God. And what do Muslims not believe in? The death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And for us Christians, we have to believe in Calvary to be saved. So why was that taken out of Islam as a stumbling block so that they would not be saved? The gospel of Jesus Christ. It's an antichrist religion. And for any Muslims watching, I love you. I don't, I don't hate the people. I speak to Imam. I speak to Muslims all the time and I show them respect and I show them love. If you guys see my videos, I went and I interviewed a woman inside her clo the clothing store. I even supported her business. I bought clothes that we actually used to evangelize to Muslims in that we're going to be dropping soon. You know, it was to adapt, to be all things, to um, to win some. We actually went into a mosque and um, we were able to debate with a, an imam and his people. That video is coming out soon, but we were very respectful to the woman. You know, we left in respect. I even asked her, can I post this video? She said yes. It was very respectable. Man, we've, um, we've went 
been to Muslim mosques. I've interviewed leaders in Muslim mosques. I've, I've sat down with people who are on the board of the Islamic community out here in um, Central Florida um, at coffee shops. I mean, we've sat down and we've spoken to Muslims. And man, I'm telling you, Muslim, most Muslims don't really know. You ask them, are you going to heaven? They don't know. What kind of religion is that? How, how, how is that love? You see, Jesus is the truth. He's the way. He's the life. No other religion can say that. What other religion did their leader say that? Buddha didn't say that. Muhammad did not say that. All these Hindu false gods never said it. Even in, in Judaism, they, 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 they're still waiting on the Messiah, but he already came. Jesus is the way. He's the truth. He's the life. No one goes to the Father but through him. Let's continue the video. I'm already turned up, man. So yeah, this woman already stood up. She, she, she gave him a powerful word. Like, hey, he's hidden. He was hidden. The religious leaders couldn't catch it. And he's getting a little, a little agitated. And you can't show one verse. From this big Can I ask of you a question, sir? Can you separate yourself from your word? Oh, sorry? Can you separate Dr. Zaka and Nike from his word? Can you separate Dr. Can you separate Zaka yourself from your word? He don't get it. But what difference does it make whether I can or whether I cannot? You see? You don't get it. <laughs> Jesus is the word of God made flesh. <laughs> But what? religious mind is too big for five senses. <laughs> Jesus is the word of God and himself, he is God. The Bible every, says he gave him the name that is above every other name. Every, Come on. The word of God. Every messenger gets the word of God. Most of every messenger, messenger at Jesus this did. time is the word of God. What is so different about Jesus, peace be upon him? Have, and now I have you're an answer for that, sir. Since the, the beginning of the word of, of the Bible, till the time of Jesus, tell me any of the messenger you called who was capable to cast out devils oh, I to heal stop the sick. Hold on, hold on. I just want to talk about what, what she said. Jesus is the word of God made flesh. He is the word. Yes, he is the word made flesh. He's the fullness of God bodily. Jesus, Yeshua. He couldn't catch the revelation because they were trying to read the word, but they didn't know the word. They couldn't. They could, that's, why, that's why the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Word of God. It doesn't say by reading. Anyone can read. A Muslim can read. A, a, a warlock can read. A witch can read. A Jew can read. A Buddhist can read. An atheist, an agnostic can read the Word of God. They can read it. You can read it all day. There's people who have read the entire Bible. But if you don't have the hearing of of the Word of God, which is revelation that only comes by the Spirit of God, you only like, and that is a gift. That is that is that is that is a blessing. That is something honorable. God doesn't just give it to anybody. The Bible says no one comes to the Son unless the Father draws him in. So no one comes to the word the fullness of god bodily the logos word wrapped in flesh unless the father allows them to so even if you read the bible if the father's not allowing you to because your heart ain't ready because you ain't doing it for the right reasons because because it's, it, because he's an omnipotent sovereign god and he knows you can't catch the revelation by the spirit god has to draw you in no one comes to the son unless the father draws them in that's why when i evangelize i always tell people hey i highly encourage you and this is for the atheists the agnostics the ones who don't believe i say look i pray i i hope and i pray that you go and seek the highest power because that's what I did. I asked the highest power. I was on the island of, of Crete in Greece, stationed out there in the military for over a year. I had all these things and accomplishments that I always wanted and I was so empty inside. All this, all these women, money, drugs, traveling, partying, and I was so empty. I, I remember I went sober for like, I think it was about two months, no alcohol. Um, And I was an alcoholic and I was just, I was going to the clubs with my friends in the bar still. But when I would go, I was like, it was, it was, it was, I was sober. So I was seeing how everything was sober and I was like, man this is so whack and i remember one of the nights my friends went to the club i went out to the beach and i was like it was like a whole movie and it was super dark outside but the light of the moon was just shining on the mountains and everything it was like a movie on this beautiful beach no one's there i was by this little hotel resort they had little beach chairs out there i mean it was like so perfect and i remember i went out there it was like a movie man i was i was looking around i'm like this is like literally like so beautiful this doesn't even look real in person and because if you if you know about the island of crete it's one of the most beautiful islands if not the most beautiful in greece people from Greece and all over Europe go to Crete to travel. And, and the Crete is in the Bible with Titus, you know, with the lion, the liars and the gluttons um, all over the island of Crete. And it's really true. That tradition still stays. I'm um, stands. But I was out there, man, and I was just looking around and I'm like, I start crying, bro. I started crying. I'm just like, what's the purpose of life? What are we doing here? Higher power, whoever you are, whoever they are, it are, she are, I don't know. Whoever aliens, I don't know. Show me who you are. And I'm crying and I'm crying. It's like a whole movie, man. I'm crying. And I felt like this. I was trembling and I'm like, oh, God. And I'm, I'm just like, show me. And I hear a voice. I'll never forget it. I heard a voice say, I'm going to show you now. And I just was like, man, am I, am I tripping? Did I just hear that? Was that my head? Was that a thought? And it stopped everything. It stopped the crying. It stopped everything. And I was just like, man, what was that? And I just kind of neglected it. I asked my friends what they thought. But you know, in 
and I just I just I just was like whatever and that's when God started to really move the father started to really move he drew me into the son three years later I got saved about two and a half years later so that's why I always tell people cry out to the highest power go to your closet alone I tell them do it alone mean it from your heart don't just highest power if you're real show me that's not meaning it from your heart God's not gonna move when it's only from the mouth like the Bible says you know like people's hearts were far from him like they worship him from their mouth but their hearts are far from him you got to have a heart even for God when you don't even know him because everyone everyone has a spirit so everybody knows there has to be a God everybody I don't care if you're a Satanist a Luciferian a Muslim everybody knows there's a God now you have to ask in order to receive and that's why I tell people all the time look you don't got to believe it's Jesus let's just say a prayer together and ask the highest power I know the highest power is Jesus but just for them I'll adapt I'll be all things to all men to help them so that when they do have the encounter they remember like bro he prayed to the highest power and I encountered Jesus so God can get the glory Jesus is the fullness of God bodily and a lot of um uh, Pharisees it, Muslims they don't they don't understand that they can't everything is, is letter for them everything is letter it's crazy but man she's about to go ham she's about to go ballistic in the spirit I, 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 this part is so powerful let's keep Watching. The name that is above every other name, name which is the every word name. of God. Every messenger gets the word of God. Most of every messenger, messenger at this did. time is the word of God. What is so different about Jesus? Peace be upon him. Have, and now I you're have putting... an answer for that, sir. Come on. Since the, the beginning of the word of, of the Bible, till the time of Jesus, tell me any of the messenger you call who was capable to cast out devils, to heal the sick. Why? Because in the beginning, it was only God who had power yeah, to deal much. with the devil from the fall of, the, from, of man in the Garden of Eden. But these things were hidden for salvation of men. Come on. You heard what she said. Since the beginning of time, since... All right, I'm going to pause it right there. Okay, I'm going to pause it right there to give my thoughts. Uh, if y'all do want to see this entire video and his thoughts on the video, definitely go down below in the link description box below. It's going to be right there. Probably the second, or the, no, the very first link. It'll be the very first link down in the description uh, box below. But, okay, this woman done said a lot. Okay, but I want to first off say Muslims, if you are a Muslim, if you are atheist, I don't care what you are. Okay, I love you, bro. I, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I just want people to get out of religion and truly see God with all their heart. Just like Richard said, when you see God with all your heart and God sees that, I mean, there's no way that he won't reveal himself to you. My little testimony is that I, I, I didn't have no testimony where I cried out to God or anything like that, but I was raised in a church and... I just felt led to go back to church. I was, you know, I slipped away. I was having sex. I was in homosexuality. I was lying. I was stealing. I was all type of stuff. I did all that. But I just felt led to go back to church. The moment I went back to church, that's the moment I wanted to do a change. I wanted to make a change in my life. And I knew I wanted to live for God. I wanted to live for Jesus Christ. That's what I wanted to live for. You know what I'm saying? But it, I really got the revelation of Jesus when I truly start to really seek him with all my heart. Like I was like, Lord, I want to give up sex. I want to give up all of this pornography. I want to give up lying. I want to give it all up. I want to give up cussing. I want to give it all up. And that's when I truly, that's when God like really starts to move in my life. And I didn't even notice it at first because I was still naive to what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my little testimony. And I'm saying that because if you truly seek the Lord with all your heart, there's no way he won't reveal himself to you. You got to look at God like an actual father because that's what he is. You know what I'm saying? When you ask, you shall receive. You feel me? You shall receive when you ask the Lord father please like i just want to know that you're real reveal yourself to me he will reveal but you got to be doing it with all your heart if you just like richard said if you just sitting there like lord I'm, or higher power whoever you are i don't care reveal yourself to me i i don't care like i i don't know you got to show me you real like it's like come on now like that right there that's not a that's not a, a humble heart. That's a heart of pride. Like you already coming to God, already thinking in your head that, okay, he's not real. He's not going to reveal himself. You got to come with a clear mind, with a humble heart and be like, Lord, I need you. I need something. I, I don't know. I'm going through like whatever you feel me. Uh, but this woman right here, she said a brilliant thing. And one thing that stuck with me is that a lot of, because I had somebody, I had somebody do this to me where I was preaching the gospel to him. And he instantly went into how many books are in the Bible. At this time, I didn't know. Okay, I didn't know how many books in the Bible. I'm not sitting there looking at every book in the Bible. I didn't know that. I remind you, I grew up in the church, but I didn't listen. I wasn't following Christ. So I didn't know this stuff. I'm just like, uh, I don't know. 
You know what I'm saying? And then he, uh, I, I, I quoted a scripture, but I said, the Bible states this. You know what I'm saying? And he instantly said, no, I need verses. I need verses. If you don't know, verses and all that came after. Okay, the the word of God was just the word. It was just written. Okay, it was written. All that verse three and verse, you know, chapter three and verse two, all that came after. So I only want to, I'm not saying I don't want to know the verses because I'm learning to know the verses. But my main goal right now is I want to know the word of God, okay? I, I could care less about a verse of where is that. I, I, seriously, I want to know the word of God, the word, okay? Like when I read the Bible, I want to know, I want to remind myself, I want to remind myself, okay, the Bible tells me, do not fear for he is with me. The Bible tells me that he has plans for my life to prosper. He, the Bible tells me that man can make their own plans, but his plan will prevail. The Bible tells me that he loves me. The Bible tells me that he would ne never leave or forsake me. Like, I want to know these things, you know what I'm saying? But me just, Isaiah 41, 10, fear not for I am with you. I am the Lord. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I know a couple scriptures, but I'm just saying like, that's not my main goal. <laughs> my main goal is not to know the scripture. Like it, that's not my, my main focus. You know what I'm saying? But you can know the scriptures all day long, but if you don't know God, it don't matter if you know the scriptures and the person I was talking to, he truly, he, he claims oh, I was raised in a church. I was this, I was that. But do you know the father? Do you know the son, Jesus Christ, who came down as God in the flesh? Do you know that? If you don't know that, then Obviously, you don't know the, the Bible. You you may read it. I could tell you, I can, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell me a whole, uh, you can tell me something that happened in a movie. You can tell me something that happened in a Harry Potter book. You can tell me all these different things. But my, my question is, if you haven't spent time with the Lord, as you should, if you haven't spent time with God, and you say that you know the scriptures, you can tell me all day long, scripture this, scripture that, but if you haven't spent time in his presence, then that means you don't know God. You know of God. You know of his word. But do you know what his word truly means? See, that's why a lot of times when I talk to people, they don't understand the word of God because they they don't hear the word of God. They just know, they just read it. They just see what they see on the internet, but they don't know the word of God. My encouragement to everybody is to go into 2024 and look. God don't care what you, God cares what you're doing. I, I want to rephrase that. God does care what you're doing. He wants you to commit yourself to him. He wants you to live for him. You know what I'm saying? But my encouragement is for the people that have some serious, deep questions. Because I be seeing y'all in the comment section and y'all got some good, good questions. Some really good questions. I answer a couple of the questions, but my goal is to never debate y'all about these questions. Okay. And it's not that, oh, you don't know the answer. No, it's not because... At the end of the day, if I debate you about these questions, where are we going to get at the end of the at the end of the conversation? Where are we going to get to? You know what I'm saying? Because if you have your own opinion and I tell you that the truth is this, and you telling me that this is this, and you keep coming, it's like we're we're not going to meet at the end. It's just going to be a like this all day, all day long. It's going to be like this, and I don't want that. So if you have serious questions, my best thing that I, my best advice I could tell you is literally get down on your knees. You don't got to get down on your knees. You don't have to do all that. You know what I'm saying? But just ask God, reveal yourself to me. If you are real, reveal yourself to me. Let me know that you're here. Like if you truly come to him with all your heart, he will reveal yourself. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got so many questions for men, but y'all don't go to God with the same questions. Oh, I feel weird praying. I feel weird. Well, how do you feel weird praying? Prayer is just a conversation with the Lord. You you shouldn't feel weird. That's the only that's the only person that's going to hear you out fully and understand your heart. That's the only person that's going to do that. Nobody else is going to understand you just like your father, your heavenly father who created you is going to understand you. The the problem with Muslims, the problem with people that's in other religions, and some problem with Christians. Some of the problems are with Christians too, is that they don't understand the word of God. They just go based off the first thing. Oh, if the Bible don't say that peace be upon me and you shall bow down and worship me, if the Bible don't say that, then he's not God. But then, the, then, then you look over the fact that Jesus did say I am. Then you also look over the fact that um, uh, that the Bible say in Philippians, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say it's Philippians chapter two, but I'm not for sure. So don't mark me. I will put it on the screen, though. Philippians, where it say that Jesus, uh, he, he came down. 
in flesh. He came down as God, okay, in the flesh to be to be united with us, to, to go through what we're going through, to go through the same pains and everything. But he didn't find it equally. He didn't find nothing to grasp to knowing that he uh that he was with God, if that makes sense. Look, I'm trying to say the scripture, but I'm it's on the screen. OK, so forgive me if I'm not saying the scripture, how it really says it. But his divine privileges and all that, like I know there's all that is at the scripture. So forgive me for not full on saying like the exact scripture. I haven't read that scripture in a long time, but it is right here in my heart to know that, OK, Jesus gave up his divine privileges to be united with us, to go through what we went through, to go through the pain, the suffering, to go through all the heartaches, to go through all that. He came down to do that with us, to do life with us. And he died a criminal's death when he didn't deserve it. And he gave up his divine privileges. His divine privilege, he gave it up. He gave it up. He didn't find... He, he didn't find out to cling to knowing that he was truly God. Like, he knew this. He knew his power. He knew what he had, but he wanted to be like us. He wanted to come down with us and go through what we went through. There's no way you could tell me that Jesus is not truly God. There's no way you could tell me that Jesus wasn't real. There's no way you could tell me that Jesus is truth. If you got questions about the Bible, the easiest thing to do is read the Bible with a heart that is humble, with a heart that is open to receive the truth. And ask God to help you, you know, ask God to help. But you can't read the Bible with already in your mindset that, oh, man, this is fake. This sounds like a whole bunch of baloney. This is fairy tales. This is this. This is that. A lot of y'all are y'all hard and hard. Y'all have hardened hearts. Open up your heart to receive the truth, to receive the true revelation of God, to receive the true revelation of Jesus Christ. I love y'all, man. I hope you guys enjoy y'all day. Uh, shout out to Richard Lorenzo. Like I said, this video link will be in the description box below if you want to hear his thoughts and everything that he has to say. Shout out to Richard, man. I love Richard. I love this man to death. Hopefully, one day I can do a video with him. But anyways, uh, it's been your boy, Depend. I love each and one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.